Hello students, welcome back to my video lesson. And in this video lesson, I am going to teach you the topic resume. And this topic resume is especially for semester 4 students. And the resume topic is not only for semester 4 students, but also for all the viewers. Well, what is resume? After completing your degree, after completing your post-graduation, or after completing your PhD, you look for a job. You will have to submit your resume. Well, there are three types of resumes. The first one is chronological and the second one is functional CV and the third one is combination CV. And these are the main, main parts of the resume. The first one is heading and the second one is career object. The third one is strengths and the fourth one is educational qualifications and the fifth one is technical qualifications and the sixth one is skills and the seventh one is achievements and the ninth one is interests and the ninth one is work experience and the tenth one is personal profile and the last one is declaration you have to declare your resume. Alright dear students, when you prepare your resume, some points you must remember. Well, these are the points one by one I explain you. The first one, the first point is clear writing. You must write all the details clear and lucidly. Alright. Then the second point, points in order. What are the points you are writing in your resume? The points should be in order. Alright. Then the third one. No lengthy sentences and no styles of font or size. Your sentences should not be lengthy level. Alright. And you don't use any style and you don't use any font in the computer. When you prepare your resume. Alright. And the next one is, well, it is also very important. And you should not write any your personal opinion. The personal views or opinions are prohibited completely. Alright. No any controversial matter to the company. Alright. Then the next point is avoid errors. Alright. So when you prepare your resume one by one, the no grammatical mistakes, no spelling mistakes. Alright. It's very, very important. And uh, your resume should be in A4 size papers. Well, I teach you now the full details of the resume. Resume starts like this. As you know students, resume is nothing but CV, alright, well this is the heading, heading starts with your full name, house number, street, city, pin code number, alright, and your contact number and your email ID. If it is possible, the photo will be added or company logo. Alright. Well, the next heading, career objective. Career objective. So many career objectives are there. See, this is the common career objective. You can write this career objective to any type of job any company, to any company. Alright. To secure a challenging position in an organization, to obtain a challenging position in an organization, 
to expand my learning to enhance my learning knowledge and skills okay this is the most common common career objective then it is applicable to any type of resume all right then by strengths strengths also these are common strengths you can write you can write these strengths to any type of resume i have written the common strengths here dedicating dedicated hard working team member well also you can write like uh, sincere optimistic attitude quick learner good communication skills and uh, interpersonal skills like okay so as per your strength and uh, which is applicable to that company then you can write the strengths all right then academic profile you can write here educational qualifications also you can write educational qualifications I have written here academic profile all right see career objective strengths academic profile well this is the best method if you write academic profile in a table method okay table method is applicable to any type of resume see the first headings first heading course institution board or university year of pass gpa all right well the first the academic profile the educational qualification should be written in descending order okay see the first one msc msc in which institution from nalanda degree and pg college jitya all right for example all these detail, all these details for example only right board or university shatavana university karimnagar year of pass 2022 GPA or marks 9.5 GPA. Then by coursing degree BSc MPCS. For example, Apurva Degree College, Hyderabad. From Smania University, Hyderabad. Year of pass 2020 GPA 9.3 GPA. All right. Descending order. Then intermediate. mpc course sri chaitanya junior college hyderabad for example bie board of intermediate education telangana state year pass 2017 gpa 811 marks all right then by ssc okay shanti high school jaitya board of secondary education bsc telangana state Year of pass 2015, 9.8 GPA. All right. Now let's move to another heading: technical qualifications. In technical qualifications, C languages: C, C++, Java, MS Office. This is most common technical qualification to be needed by. any applicant for accountant job tally all right then by skills skills are very important skills play an important role when you write your resume leadership skills communication skills convincing skills presentation skills how you present how you present the things it is very very important then by achievements if you have achieved any any achievements in your past days should be added your achievements for example achieve a gold medal in college days 
then the next one attended a national seminar all right then interests interests are nothing but hobbies for example these are most common interests reading cooking singing well if it is possible you can add like making new friends collecting stocks etc don't write more interests okay then by work experience if it is recommended if it is recommended sometimes company requires sometimes organization requires work experience then you you have to add work experience well for example i have been working as a lecturer in english since 2010 if you have more experience then you can write one by one experience all right let's move to another heading of the resume this is the second page starts with personal profile in your personal profile if it is recommended you have to write your personal details so the first already your name was written in first page so again no need to write your name here name of the father date of birth if it is recommended it's your personal information if it is recommended you have to write your date of birth marital status is also your personal detail if it is recommended you have to write gender male or female all right marital status married or unmarried you have to write here but i don't write all the details here i just want to tell you all the details all right you will have to fill up all the details then by religion hindu or muslim nationality indian all right permanent address you have to write your present address in the first page first heading permanent address should be written in your personal profile sometimes your present address and permanent address should be same all right languages no how many languages you know like uh, for example english okay telugu and hindi like that then in the heading in the ending this is the last heading declaration you have to declare you have to declare the resume well, for example i hereby declare that the above information is true to the best of my knowledge you have to conclude your resume like this then which date you are submitting your resume date should be written from which place you are sending the resume you have to write your place then in the ending you have to write your name then you make your sir all right okay dear students the resume topic covers five marks in semester examination and this is not only for semester examination but for your career if you prepare your resume in your in the systematic way then that will be helpful for your career and prepare your own resume if it is possible well it keeps me end of my lesson today i wish you all the best keep practicing good luck thank you for watching